نهم ژوئن 2017 یینگ یینگ جانگ دانشجو 26 ساله دانشگاه ایلنوی برای امضای اجاره نامه جدیدش از دانشگاه خارج میشه. چند دقیقه بعد از اتوبوس پیاده میشه تا برای ادامه مسیر سوار اتوبوس بعدی شه. اما اشتباهی سمت دیگه خیابون وای میس و این باعث میشه اتوبوس رو از دست بده. تو همین لحظه به نماینده لیزینگ پیام میده و میگه من کم دیرتر از ساعت دو میرسم. بعد کنار خیابون گودوین شمالی زیر سایه یه درخت وای میسه. دوربینای مداربسته نشون میدن که یه سترن اسرا مشکی رأس ساعت دو بعد از ظهر از کنارش رد شده. چند دقیقه بعد دوباره سر و کلش پیدا شد و این بار وایساده تا جانگ رو سوار کنه. بعد از یه مکالمه کوتاه جانگ سوار ماشین شد و از اون به بعد دیگه هیچ اثری ازش نیست. حدود ساعت 9 و نیم شب دوستاش با پلیس محلی تماس میگیرن و ماجرای گم شدن همکلاسیشون رو گزارش میدن. همزمان با شروع تحقیقات پلیس، حفاظت دانشگاه هم یه برنامه برای جستجوی محوطه داخلی و خارجی دانشگاه ترتیب میده. اما هیچ سرنخی به دست نمیاد. دوازده جوان یعنی سه روز بعد از حادثه، مامورای اف بی آی دوربینای آخرین محلی که یانگ اونجا دیده شده رو بازبینی کردن. پلاک ماشین مورد نظر تو تصویر خانه نبود، اما پلیسا 18 تا اسرای چهاردر مشکی که تو ایالت ایلنور ثبت شده بود رو پیدا کردن. صاحب یکیشون برند کریستنسن 27 ساله بود. همون روز چند تا از مامورای اف بی آی برای تفتیش خونه و ماشین برند رفتن دم خونش. بعد از پرسیدن چند تا سوال درباره اتفاق چند روز قبل خونه و ماشینش رو زیر رو کردن اما بدون اینکه مدرک به درد بخوری پیدا کنن اونجا رو ترک کردن. دو روز بعد یعنی چهارشنبه 14 ژوئن پلیس برای ساعت 12 شب یه جلسه با برند ترتیب داد تا درباره اتفاقای جمعه بیشتر حرف بزنن. قبل از هر چیز اونا ازش خواستن یه خلاصه از گفتگویی که دو روز قبل تو خونش با مامور اف بی آی داشته رو بازگو کنه. So I was unable to purchase an alloy. I looked into certain things to try and see if I could get some kind of info for an alibi. I sent some texts around that time, but none exactly between two and three. برنت میگه تو گوشیش دنبال پیامایی بوده که ممکن بود بین ساعت دو تا سه فرستاده باشه تا از اونا به عنوان مدرک استفاده کنه و ثابت کنه که اون ساعت تو خونه در حال بازی کردن بوده. اما نمیدونه پلیس به راحتی میتونه به اطلاعات زمان آنلاین شدنش تو بازی دسترسی پیدا کنه. حتی اگه آفلاین هم بازی کرده، باز پزشکی قانونی دیجیتال زمان دقیق بازی رو میتونه مشخص کنه. این البته به طور کلی ادعای مزنون رو رد نمیکنه چون اون اونقدر باهوش بوده که دو تا احتمال رو مطرح کنه. احتمال دوم که میگه شاید تو اون ساعت خواب بوده، هنوز اعتبار داره. I let them come in the They searched for stuff. I let them come in the car. They searched for stuff there. Um, uh, what'd you uh, graduate in? Uh, masters in physics. In physics? Yes. Well, that's way smarter than me. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, um, you said your wife was out of town. Um, yes. The guys mentioned something about Wisconsin. Correct. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay. Um, do you know what day she was uh, in Wisconsin? Um, like late Thursday night, early Friday morning until Sunday evening. وقتی دو تا بازپرس همزمان در حال انجام بازجوییان همیشه از قبل هماهنگ میکنن که کدومشون حمله اصلی رو شروع کنه. یه مکس کوچیک یا یه نگاه جزئی برای علامت دادن واسه شروع جنگ کافیه. You know that we didn't bring you all the way up here to talk about video games. Why do you think that we brought you up here? Because the car I own was seen picking up a girl that's missing. درگیری با یه سوال شروع میشه. مزنون گوشه رینگ قرار میگیره اما به جای پاسخ محکم به حمله بازپرس، سعی میکنه از موقعیت فرار کنه. یه لحظه خودت تو این وضعیت تصور کن. تو هیچ جرمی مرتکب نشدی اما پلیس انگار به این نتیجه رسیده که متهم اصلی این پرونده ای دوازده شب چند تا مأمور فرستادن دنبال تو آوردن تو این اتاق 
قبل از هر چیزی احتمالا میخوای بدونی چرا این وقت شب دارن ازت بازجویی میکنن اما برند با آرامش و بدون هیچ مشکلی انگار که همه چیز رو پذیرفته به سوالا جواب میده برنت یه بار دیگه از وارد شدن به درگیری خودداری میکنه و جواب موجهی به سوال بازپرس در مورد اینکه چرا این وقت شب مورد بازجویی قرار گرفته ارائه نمیکنه بازپرس اصلی موضوع رو متوجه میشه و استراتژی دیگه ای رو برای ادامه روند بازجویی انتخاب میکنه. Believe me when I say that the full weight and force of the FBI is going to descend on that vehicle. Right now, my primary concern and why I've been out till midnight and these guys have been out till midnight every single night is we're trying to find this girl. She's a foreign student who's only been here for a few weeks. I want to find her. I'm asking for help. I know. I... I mean... I've got her getting into your car. I need to know why. If we can help her, we need to know now. It's been like six days now. I don't understand. Sorry. برند تو این لحظه میدونه که پلیس بهش مشکوک شده و به عنوان یکی از مزنونین این پرونده تو این اتاقه اما از یه چیزی خبر نداره چند ساعت قبل از این جلسه وقتی کارگاه ها در حال چک کردن بقیه دوربینای نظارتی بودن متوجه شدن اسرای مشکی که دنبالش میگردن یه شکستگی تو قسمت رینگ داره دقیقا مثل ماشین برند اون الان مزنون اصلی این پرونده است و نمیتونه به راحتی از این در بیرون بره And that you know what we do, you know what we have access to, cameras. Do you think that we're not going to track a vehicle all over campus? We control kiosks to bus stops. We can look in buses. We can look in every building out on the streets. And you're telling me that I didn't see you driving your car on Goodwin. And driving down university, and then you see her standing on that corner in that shade tree, didn't you? That's where you first saw her. And then you turned, you turned on Clark, and we still have cameras. I've seen the videos. I didn't see me. You've seen what we've allowed you to see. Can I see the stuff that you're talking about? Do you think that we brought you up here to show you video? We want to we want to understand why you did it. Yeah. We want to understand why you stopped her to pick her up. Was it to give her a ride? Are you afraid to tell us that you gave her a ride? Maybe you want to make a couple bucks as an Uber driver? If you're afraid to tell us that you gave her a ride someplace, we can work with you there. این یه تکنیک معروفه که اسم رسمی نداره اما همه ازش استفاده میکنن. 
ناخداگاه اساسا سعی میکنه مزنون رو به سمتی ببره که یه اقدام کوچیک رو لاغل گردن بگیره و اینجوری یه قدم جلوتر بیاد. اون فهمیده که مزنون بعید اعتراف کنه اما حداقل قبول میکنه پشت فرمون ماشینی بوده که قربانی رو سوار کرده. حالا میبینیم که بدن برند شروع به لرزیدن میکنه. تو مغزش داره تمام احتمالات رو بررسی میکنه تا ببینه تومه ای که باسپورس انداخته رو بگیره یا نه. But I know that you picked her up. I know you did. I saw you in your shirt, arms fully extended. Where did you drop her off at? She was looking for a ride. She had missed her bus. She told you she was going to one north. So where did you drop her off at? مزنون به طرز عجیبی تو این لحظه از وضعیت پر استرسی که توش گیر افتاده بود فرار میکنه و کم کم سعی میکنه به حالت انکار و فراموشی برگرده When you say she freaked out, what did what did she do? Did she did she start throwing things at you? Did she scratch you? It looks like you have a scratch on your right bicep. There is that oh, from? I scratched myself. In my That's from me. Has no. anybody else sat in that front passenger seat since, since she got out of the car? Probably. Um, okay. Not with me, but with my wife, probably. I mean. So other than your wife, who, who else sat in the front passenger seat with you that you know? Um. What was her ethnicity? You said she had trouble speaking English. Well, she, she was Asian. She was Asian. She was Asian. Okay. Um, well, what was? What do you think? How old do you think she was? Was she? Um, my guess was about twenty. Okay. My guess was about twenty. Um, okay. Was she wearing glasses? Did she have a ball cap on? باسپورس به سوال در مورد مشخصات ظاهری قربانی ادامه میده با امید اینکه مزنون یه جواب دقیق بده اگه اونا مطمئن بشن که حافظه برند انقدر واضحه که دقیقا به یاد میاره یه نفر توی زمان خاص چی پوشیده بوده ادعای حافظه ضعیف کاملا رد میشه اون دیگه نمیتونه در مورد موضوعات بعدی تو همون بازه زمانی بگه یادم نمیاد What did she tell you whenever you rolled down the window and you were chatting with her? You said she looked distressed. Um, That's my stuff. Do you remember specifically what yeah, uh, she sad. said to you? Um, I asked her if something was wrong. Um, uh, she said, I'm late. I need to get somewhere or something like this. I was... Um, so she said she was running late for something? Yeah. And I was like, oh, okay, well, can you ride? Because again, I was just turning around. Mm -hmm. So. Did she say where she was trying to get to? You mentioned the. 
Um, show me the phone. Uh, with the mask. She said she had a meeting with her professor. When I told her my name, she didn't really hear it, so I had to say it again mm -hmm. a few times. So, I mean, her English was really bad. Um, yeah, I mean, we really didn't talk about much. There really wasn't much said. Just she looked freaked out. So I heard her right. So how, how long do you think that she was in your car for? Less than five minutes. You said you kicked her out of the car in a residential neighborhood. She got out of the car, I think. Oh, she got out of the car? She wanted to get out. Like, All right. I mean, um, I would have told us earlier, but I mean, I thought it was Saturday night. You were definitely driving all over campus, and you were by yourself, and you weren't playing video games all day. So why would you tell us that? Why would you tell the FBI that comes to your house that you were Saturday? I don't know. You didn't mess up the days. I mean, I thought I was doing it Saturday. So what did you think that those two agents were at your house talking to you about? They were asking me about Friday between 2 and 3. So I told them, I mean, maybe I got my days mixed up. You know, I said a little bit ago, I thought I was doing this Saturday. Feel the need to give them that information? And it might be important? I mean... پاسپورت اصلی اینجا مرتکب یه اشتباهی میشه. اون وسط یه درگیری مستقیم حرف مزنون رو قطع میکنه و برمیگرده به بحث قبلی. مشخصه که صبرش تموم شده و از اینجا به بعد سعی میکنه یه بحونهی برای تقابل بعدی پیدا کنه. Um, you, know, you, you mentioned your wife went on a vacation with another friend. Um, you mentioned that there's another guy she hangs out with. You mentioned there's another girl you hang out with. Do you guys have a we're no, we're very open relationship? relationship? Okay. Yeah, I have a girlfriend. She has a boyfriend as well. Okay. Um, kind of strained between us as well. So um, I mean, every marriage goes through some rough patches. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean. باسپورسا حالا دارن زیر ساخت این تکنیک رو پایریزی میکنن اونا میخوان از زاویه دید متفاوتی به ماجرای ازدواج برنت نگاه کنن تا هم به درک جدیدی از انگیزه جرم برسن هم مزنون رو متوجه ریشه مشکل عاطفی که درون خودش داره بکنن برنت یه ازدواج ناموفق رو پشت سر گذاشته اون ممکنه تو ذهنش از این موضوع به عنوان یه توجیه برای جنایت هایی که مرتکب شده استفاده کنه Did she go to Wisconsin with a boy or another girlfriend? Guy. Did that, how'd that make you feel when she went away for the weekend, this long weekend with that guy? Lonely. Yeah. And it's okay, those, that, those are normal human feelings. Yeah. Did you feel hurt? Well, yeah, but... But still, she's your wife and it's tough. It's tough to see somebody you care about that you love to go someplace else with somebody else and not include you. Yeah. And I get that, man. Is that why you're driving around campus all day, pretty much all day long on Friday? Because you missed her? Just trying to clear my head. Yeah, more or less. That's understandable. Yeah. Did you talk to any other girls that day? No. Did you talk to any other girls on Saturday? Or did you stay home Saturday? No. Once again, days mixed up. Okay. When I was driving around, she was the only person I talked to. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. You're a smart man. So you have to understand how technology works. How do you think I knew that she Googled the address to One North? How do you think I knew that? One minute after getting in your car, how do you think I knew that? We know that you did, she didn't get out of your car. You need to be honest with us. Help us bring her back to her family. You can do that. You can do that. You can do it right now. It seems like you're, instead of just answering the question, you're trying to think about three steps forward. And I think I've demonstrated enough, I've shared enough with you that you know that I know 
that you you didn't drop her off in that in that neighborhood. You you know that we can follow her phone. Okay. So where did you drop her off at? Where'd you take her, Brent? مزنون بیگناهی خودش رو حفظ کرد و بدون هیچ اتهامی بعد از این جلسه بازجوی آزاد شد. با وجود فیلم دوربین های مداربسته و شکستگی رینگ ماشین و تناقضایی که تو حرفاش بود بدون مدرک محکم پسند و اعتراف قطعی نمیشد بیشتر از این نگهش داشت. بنابراین برند کریستنسن بعد از تکمیل جلسه بازجویی به زندگی عادی خودش برگشت. اما قصه اینجا تموم نمیشه. چهار روز بعد FBI با تار و بولیس دوست دختر برند تماس گرفت. اونا ازش خواستن به عنوان نزدیکترین فرد به برند به پلیس برای پیدا کردن جان کمک کنه. با موافقت تارا یه دستگاه شمرود بهش داده شد تا مکالماتش با مزنون رو ضبط کنه. این استراتژی به شدت خطرناک بود چون اگه مزنون از ماجرا خبردار میشد میتونست تو خونه، تو ماشین یا هر جای دیگه ای به تارا آسیب برسونه. اما به نظر می اومد تنها راه ممکن برای پیدا کردن جان همین باشه. تارا از فردای اون جلسه با پلیس دستگاه رو روشن کرد. I'm turning this thingy on. It's about 12:40 and I'm going to go see Brent on the porch. تو اولین فایل ضبط شده برنت از برنامه‌اش برای پاک کردن اسمش از لیست اف بی آی حرف میزنه. I have already done more than I had to for them and I was repaid by God. I want to find this girl and I'm going to go talk to one of the FBI agents. هیفده جوان یعنی هشت روز بعد از ناپدید شدن جانگ برنت داف طلبانه برمیگرده به همون اتاق بازجویی. اون تقریبا داستانی که دفعه قبل تعریف کرد و این بارم تکرار کرد و گفت که قصدش فقط کمک کردنه باسپورس ازش خواست به همراه پلیس همون مسیری که با جانگ رفته رو دوباره رانندگی کنه نقشه شونود کردن مکالمات برند تقریبا بی نتیجه بود. اون هیچ چیزی که بشه به عنوان مدرک ازش استفاده کرد رو به تارا نمی گفت. تا اینکه 29 ژوئن همه چیز تغییر کرد. دوستای جانگ یه همایش برگزار کردند تا دوباره توجه همه رو به ماجرای ناپدید شدن این دختر جلب کنن. همون روز برند یه پیام به تارا میده و بهش میگه که میخواد تو همایش پیاده روی یادبود یینگ جانگ شرکت کنه. بعد از پایان مراسم یاد بود برند تصمیم گرفت یه رازی رو با دوست دخترش تارا در میون بذاره I know everything. Well, I know way more than everyone. I okay. want to tell you. I do want to. I do want to. She was Ellie. She what? She what? What? She fight. More than anyone else. Prosecutors say the recording showed that Christensen bragged about killing 12 other people, but they have no other evidence of more victims. Ying Ying is the only person that has produced evidence that leads back to me. Number 13, he said, I've been at this since I was 19. He told his girlfriend he had been wanting to talk to someone about it and he wanted to kill more people. I still want to do it, he said. It's my legacy. Brent Christensen, the convicted killer of Chinese scholar Ying Ying Zhang, will spend the rest of his life in prison because a federal jury couldn't decide if he should be sentenced to die. <laughs> 